Hello everyone, I am your produce guy. Today is June 24th and I have a special surprise for you. Our patience has been rewarded. Today started out pretty much like any other day. Today I've got to do some watering in the backyard. So I come to the front yard to grab the hose and the hose end sprinkler to take it on back, step through the back gate, and I see this little row of white capped mushrooms right in the lawn. First I thought, oh that's awesome, look at that, too bad they're not edible. And then I thought, oh I remember what the Mushroom Society of Utah taught me when I went on a morel hunt with them earlier this month. And they said, anytime you see mushrooms grow growing, you know that the conditions are right for all mushrooms to grow. So I immediately took a look at my morel box, which is right by these white caps. Not a thing. And then I looked down in front of it. And here they were, right in the lawn. Three beautiful, fresh morel mushrooms. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I ran in the house screaming. Uh, Mrs. Protus guy thought something was wrong. I was so excited. We've had a lot of comments on the video, How to Grow Morel Mushrooms, about the fact that you can't cultivate them. Well, obviously that's not true. We've just grown them right here in my yard. What they're saying is that you can't really cultivate them commercially because they're unpredictable. It's not like taking a, a kernel of corn, putting it in the ground, and know you're going to get a stalk of corn and an ear or two of corn off of that. These can take up to seven years to fruit. Also, they didn't grow in the box. I've got this beautiful box here. They grow in the lawn, so really unpredictable. You don't know what your harvest is going to be. Now, these, of course, are not nearly as big as the morel that we found on our mushroom hunt a couple of weeks ago, but they are nice and fresh. It is late in the season, and that's why I was so surprised to see them, but I think what happened was this section of the lawn was a little bit dry. I set the sprinkler out and I forgot about it. And it watered for hours and hours on this section of lawn. Well, that was about a week ago. And here they are. I think maybe my mistake was the thing that brought these mushrooms out. Again, it's June 24th, a little bit late in the season for morels, but less than 13 months from when I planted these and started this project. A little longer project than we normally embark on here, but the point of this is to show you that I can do it and so can you. If you want more information on how to create your own morel habitat, just click up in the corner and check out our vid video on building your own morel habitat. After you've seen our video on how to create a morel mushroom habitat, you can get your own morel spores from gmushrooms.com, just like I did, and they're what I used to grow these guys. And remember, all their kits are guaranteed to grow. Well, this has been an especially fun project growing my own morel mushrooms. I'm excited to be able to come out into the yard and periodically find these morels where I can pick them fresh, take them in and have a special dinner. The only trouble is, it looks like I'm gonna have to hunt for them even in my own yard because they didn't grow in the box like I had planned. How about that? Thanks for being with us. Be sure to check out our other morel videos. Hope you've enjoyed the series. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I am your produce guy. Remember, fresh is best. And you gotta go in the forest and find them. Well, that sounds like a lot of work, you know. People who go the first year sometimes are unsuccessful and don't find any. Well, we'll show them. We're gonna put together our own mushroom habitat, your produce guy mushroom habitat, and grow some morel mushrooms. Let's take a look at what's in the box.